Hey, Miles here, milesbeckler.com. In this video, you're gonna see the results from 25 months of content marketing. You're gonna get to see behind the scenes within the analytics of my YouTube channel, of my WordPress blog, and also my podcast to see exactly the kind of momentum that I've been able to create here on this channel in 25 months. It was just a little one month over two years ago when I had zero videos, I had zero subscribers, and I had zero views here on YouTube. I've paid zero dollars to market this channel. Everything has been done organically. And before we look in, now that we've crossed into year three, right? This is the first month of year three of me being a content producer. Remember, I had a huge belief that I was not a content creator. I had this built-in belief that I was behind the scenes guy and the thought of putting out a video or putting out content scared the hell out of me to per be perfectly honest with you. So I've through sheer force figured out how to create content by doing it over and over again. One more little note, the next two years of your life are going to pass by whether you put energy towards creating content, giving value to an audience and growing an audience or not, right? Like it hasn't really changed what I've been doing in the last couple of years beyond an hour here or an hour there to create these pieces of content. The results in my lifestyle have changed massively and astoundingly. So I highly recommend if you haven't started, start publishing, really jump in with it. If you're kind of in the midst of publishing, stick with it. You'll see that the results really do compound in the long run. And on that note, let's jump on the computer and get inside of the analytics. So you'll see right now I'm at 67,980 subscribers. That's pretty much gonna be rounded up to about 70,000 subscribers. Not bad for what's really been three videos per week. I did do a video a day for the first four months, but it's really been uh, three videos a week for about 20 months straight. You can see I've published 415 videos at this point, and now we're gonna jump into today's analytics, and we're gonna see exactly what the results are from all of this activity. We're gonna look at the data a few different ways to try to make it clear as to kind of what the overall picture has been doing and then what's going on currently. So it loads with the past 28 days. That's what YouTube loads with. And here you can see my watch time is up. I'm over the 1.1 million minutes viewed per 28 day period. That's up just under 2% right there. My average view duration is down about 2% and the total number of views is up about 4 percent. So not huge numbers in any one direction, but definitely seeing some positive increases. Um, my likes are down a little bit, 4%. My subscriber numbers are up four and a half percent. When I hover over the 3,000 subscribers every 28 days, that's actually kind of a pretty high number for me. It's, it's actually rarely in the history of doing these kinds of updates. Uh, it's rarely been above that number. So I feel like I'm getting uh, more new people who are more interested in what I talk about. So YouTube is delivering me higher quality visitors from my activities. Um, let's do a quick comparison. I wanna do this quarter, let's see here, the last 90 days. And then I'm going to compare it to the 90 days prior to that. So you can see my 90 over 90 numbers. I'm up about, I would say that's what, 10% or so, about 300,000 in the minutes viewed. Uh, I'm up about 20,000 views, which would be maybe 5% there in the views. So a little bit going on in the, in the kind of quarter over quarter, but all in all, it's the fact that I'm in this channel of, um, and channel might be a weird word because I'm on YouTube, right? In this range of highs and lows that are really connecting me with lots and lots of new people. One more I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set this up to show the whole lifetime of the account, um, but I need to set that up manually here. Well, let me click lifetime show you. You'll see I had my Gmail account and my uh, YouTube account for many years before actually publishing. Uh, you can see I started publishing here in about August of 2016, and I've reached the 20 million minutes viewed mark and it turns out that I've crossed the 3 million views. So just the little habit of creating content and publishing content on a regular basis has helped me connect with millions of people for tens of millions of minutes viewed. Pretty astounding to be honest. And um, you can see I'm, I'm crossing that 67,000 subscriber mark on my way to 70,000 and ultimately 100,000. Let's go into the blog because 
For me, I use YouTube as my content creation mechanism because it's easier for me to create a video than it is for me to sit down and write a blog post. But ultimately, I don't own my content on YouTube. YouTube is in control of that platform. I'm essentially a sharecropper on their land. And my WordPress blog is really where I own my experience, I own my content, and I'm in full control. So if I have the ability to wave a magic wand and become an epic writer, and I could do what I do in video in the written form, I think it would be better, right? If you're a writer, I think I could get more results, more traffic, more leads more quickly. Um, but ultimately, my YouTube videos are designed to help me get my content onto my WordPress blog. It gets my ideas out, and then I have a team who helped me get it over here. Now, you can see that I've got 22,000 visits from about 13,500 people, totaling 45,000 page views in the last 30 days. I'm going to do a quick comparison so we can see the 30 over 30 and you'll see it's pretty level, right? I'm down about a quarter percent on sessions, uh, down 1% on page views. I'm up about a percent on the number of users, nothing magic going on. But when I zoom out enough to the previous year and I look at the year over year, this is where you can see the compounding really, really takes place. 30% roughly sessions up about 26% on the users over 40% more page page views and about 10% more pages per session. And my uh, average session duration has actually gone up quite a bit. So you can see here just in the year over year, how much things have changed. And let me do one more comparison where I'm going to bring it out to a full two year. So now we're looking at the past year versus not the year before, but the year before that, right? The year of 2016 versus the year of 2018. And this is where you can see the drastic difference. Um, they say what a difference a year can make. And I'll just say right here what a difference two years can make. And 11,000% more sessions, 12,000 users, 12,000% uh, 12, more users, and 14,000 page views. Literally going from a couple of hundred sessions a month to tens of thousands of sessions. Um, that's really really ultimately the power. And as, as I stated in the beginning, right, it's small things done consistently over long periods of time that create drastic results like what you're seeing here. Um, just like how my channel had literally zero subscribers, uh, maybe 30 subscribers two years ago, and now I've got almost 70,000 subscribers today. Uh, no one video went viral. No one blog post went viral. In fact, none of my videos are virals, have ever gone viral. None of my blog posts have ever gone viral. It's the power of compounding working itself out and just literally moving a mountain of dirt with a spoon. That is effectively the, the process. And now let's take a quick look at my podcast here. You can see my podcast has um, currently 4,222 views or downloads, excuse me, for this month. We are 20 days into the month, which means we're about two thirds of the way into the month. So that should very easily become 63 to 6,500. I may email that a couple times here as the month winds down to really try to boost my uh, subscriber and my download numbers. But you can see through August, 6,600 downloads. July was 6,200 downloads. June was 5,700 downloads. So there's a very consistent increase month over month over month. I just got my podcast feed up and running in, it's less than a year at this point. I believe it was somewhere around October of 2017. So in about a year, I've had 60,000 plus downloads. And again, this, if you don't know, this is the exact same content that's coming out through my YouTube channel. I have a virtual assistant, just take the MP3 file, put it up onto a podcast feed because a lot of my viewers aren't able to sit and watch a YouTube video. They want to be able to listen to my content and get my ideas is while they're commuting, while they're at the gym, or while they're walking the dog, doing the yard work, etc. So it's yet another way for me to repurpose my content into a different format in order to really make sure I'm doing everything I can to make my content as consumable for you as possible. So I start with a YouTube video. I have a team that takes my videos and turns them into written blog posts that are all copy edited, all neat and tidy, laid out, and they look great on my blog. That's pretty much hands off for me. I did build that system first. Uh, Otter.ai, if you're looking for a tip on how to get free transcriptions, I think you can get like 600 minutes per month of transcriptions of your 
content for free from otter.ai, like the critter, O-T-T-E-R.ai. And then I have, I so I went through the process repeatedly to learn what does it take for me to get my videos and transcribe it and copy edit it and make it nice and lay it on my blog. Then I passed it off to a team. Then I did the same thing with the podcast. I started taking the MP3 off and then I started getting that onto the podcast feed. And then once I had a system in place for that, I passed that off to a virtual assistant. So I'm able to stay focused on creating great core content. And then I know that the syndication of my content into the three main pillars, the written word, the spoken word, and the video, that's all handled by my teammates. And I get to move forward doing what's fun and easy for me, these YouTube videos for you. One other note, my email list is just about 7,000 subscribers. It's about 6,800 subscribers on my email list, which is amazing. Um, I email almost every single day. If you aren't on my email list yet and you want to, there's gonna be a little book that pops up here on the end screen in a minute. Click on that book, you'll get access, milesbeckler.com forward slash free dash course. You get my free course and my daily emails. And on that note, I'm going to call it. So thank you very much for your time. If you have not started taking action yet, please, please, please start taking action, start publishing content. Your future self will thank you. The next two years of your life will be going by whether you take action or not. The key to success online is taking action. If you have any questions for me, get at me in the comments, give me thumbs up, like it, share it, do what you do. I appreciate the engagement. I appreciate your time and I look forward to connecting with you on the next video. Until then, be well.